Here's a format for a great cardio tennis class. You can practice point patterns, you can get repetition on all your essential strokes. If you come early and hit some serves, you can do all seven of your essential strokes. You can get a great workout and have lots of fun. The class is best used for people that already have their fundamentals in place, or at least people that are taking a tennis fundamentals class in conjunction with the cardio tennis class. All right, here we go. All right, guys, here. One other thing you can do to enrich your cardio tennis lives is let's just do this really quick. Everyone copy me. Ready position, elbows up, racket centered. The ready position is unit turn. Turn with your racket high. Let it drop low and close. Friction is the secret. Contact, safety zone. Catch your racket high. Great job. Backhand ground stroke. Repeat. High, low, high. Close the racket face low. Lift up. Make the ball spin end over end. Unless you're hitting a slice backhand, racket high, slightly down, separate your hands. All right, ready position, turn for your forehand volley, just to your strings point forward. Step and go forward. Okay, like your racket's on top of a table. Okay, backhand volley, just to your strings point forward. You can do one hand, separate the hands. Overhead, same as the serve, put your racket in the hairbrush position, pronate to the hit. All right, do all that stuff too while you're thinking of everything else. Now, as I said earlier, you can do all seven of your essential strokes in this cardio tennis class. That's why it's great to come and get practice. If you come five minutes before class and hit some serves, because that's the only stroke we really don't do in the class. If you come earlier, hit some serves, you will have done all seven essential strokes. The other thing you have to do to do all seven essential strokes is when we do backhands, do top spin backhands and also work on your slice backhand. Now some of you might not be at the stage of, de of development where you're hitting a slice backhand yet, that's okay. You might just be on your top spin, but you, so you can do all seven essential strokes. Okay, now, so we have a depth line back there, by the way, for ground strokes. If you could try to hit past that yellow depth line, that's great. And whenever I mention that to people and I encourage it, I see so fewer balls in the net when people are really trying to lift that ball deep past that depth line, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Unless you're lefty, three, four hands across the baseline. Everyone else in line here, fire walk through that ladder. Let's get you going. Next person to miss in the net has to do 200 push-ups. 200 push-ups. Next person to miss in the net. Nice job, Jolene. Here we go. Good job, good hustle, everybody. Good job, great, good depth, John. Every toe, every box on that ladder. Let's go arrive early, good. Ski slalom through the ladder. Ski slalom through the ladder. Good job, everybody. All right, so when we do approach volley, you can do a doubles approach volley or a singles approach volley. Um, now remember, it's an approach volley, not a put away volley. A put away is a high easy sitter, you're stopping, you're trying to end the point right there, they're most likely not going to get that ball. You'd still go forward just in case, but that's a put away, we're not doing that. We're doing an approach volley, I'm going to feed it a little lower, you're going to be running to get to it. You're actually going to try to move through the ball. So here's what an approach shot looks like. You're trying to set up. You know you're going to have to hit a volley after this. That's an approach. So there's a lot to this. When you do approach, don't approach too, clo too close too quick. Don't run straight up to here and give me one of these. Okay, pretend like I could lob you. Pretend you don't know where it's coming. Approach to here, and then when I feed that volley, close the net and put away the volley. Um, so that's real tennis, right? It's 21 feet from the net to the service line. I think a good rule of thumb is halfway in between, so about 10 and a half feet from the net. So move through the approach, get to here for the volley, then close the net to put away the volley, okay? So check it out. If you're doing doubles, you can start a little wider. You're most likely going to approach cross court into position. If you're doing singles, Feel free to come in closer to the center mark, and you're going to approach maybe down the line a little bit more. Depends what you want to work on, but you can work on both. 
Good job. Apple pickers from cone to cone. Skipping, reaching up. Sorry, Jolene. That was my fault. That was a tough feed. That was a tough feed. Good job. We're going to go wrong way, Ashton. Wrong way. Here we go. Nice work. Good job, good job. Here we go, move through it. Move through it, good try, Ethan. Nice, good angle, buddy. Okay, drill number two. Return a serve volley. I'm gonna hit a serve. You're gonna return and come to the net and then volley. Here's how not, now this is definitely a doubles move. Most likely in singles, you're not coming in behind your opponent's serve unless they have a very weak serve, okay? Um, so let's say it's doubles. Don't stand way back here, take a giant swing, and then start to go in. You're not going to get in good position for the volley. Try to keep a short swing, keep your center of gravity in front, take it early, hit and run on your way. Going in behind a serve is a predetermined plan. Do not hit it and sit there for which to me seems like an eternity, even though I know it's only a second where you hit and you just stare at that return to serve. Don't do that. You know you're either going in behind this return or you're not. Take the return and run. Hopefully you get close enough for your put away volley. If not, if you only get to here, just play the volley back deep. That's okay too. Side steps now. Cone to cone, face in. Face in, you're gonna side step back out. Good job everybody. Nice, Jolene. Return a serve. You gotta play though the Division I college tennis. They play let's. The last drill we're gonna do is three balls out of the air. The first one, I'm going to moon ball up. Just play one volley, two volleys, three volleys. Nothing really to think about on that drill. It's just a great drill to get you to be more aggressive. Um, it really works on your volley because you have to hit really forward on your volley from further back. You can't hit down on it. It's just a great drill. Three volleys coming forward, nothing bounces. I know it's tempting to do the Agassi swinging big volley. But I would rather see you just do conventional volleys, one, two, three, coming forward, okay? Nice work. Here we go, Ashton, in the air. Good. Good, nice, Ashton. Good try, good try. Here we go, Marv. Nice work, guys. In the air, Ethan. Good. Now, here's how I don't like to see overhead, this, the overhead drill done. Don't come in up at the net with your racket on your shoulder, standing sideways like this. I know that makes it tougher for you to recover, but again, that's not tennis. You don't come to the net like this when you play tennis. The hard part about the net is getting from an even centered ready position to setting up for the overhead. That's what takes a long time is that reaction from here to here. If you're doing it right, you probably have a slightly different grip for your volley and your overhead. So you have to practice the grip change, bringing your right leg back, maybe crossing over. So I'd like to see you again, when you come in for your overheads, just like the volley, halfway between the service line and the net in your ready position, Pretend like you don't know I'm going to feed you an overhead, okay, and then turn and set up, and then hit the overhead. Here we go. Good job. Oh, I like it. They're adding a little skipping through the cones. Nice work. Good job. All right, get that power X, Ashton. Left arm up. Over that left arm.
Ooh. Big Dave trying to assert his authority. Susan, watch out for that ball. Please like and subscribe to my channel for tips, tricks, and so much more.